If you're looking for the ultimate couples camping fifth wheel, this 2022 Forest River Salem Hemisphere Elite Series 36 FL might just be one you want to take a look at. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hey guys, this is Corey here at Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today we are going to take a look at the all new 2022 Salem Hemisphere Elite Series Model 36 FL. This is what I'm going to call the ultimate couples camping fifth wheel. And this trailer comes in at just over 12,500 pounds unloaded and is going to be about 43 foot in overall length. So this is by no means half ton towable. You're gonna to wanna to properly spec out three quarter or one ton pickup to be able to comfortably tow this particular trailer. We're gonna do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today and talk about all of the amazing features and options that we've applied to this, such as the ultimate outside griddle and cooking station and entertainment area, all the storage and some things that some people are going to find a little different such as the fact that this doesn't have a true dinette it has a couple of bar stools but let's go ahead and we'll jump inside and take a look so starting off on the inside of this 36 fl elite series i want to go ahead and start in the living area since this is the front living it's kind of the focal point of this trailer so as you can see up here, you have got the ultra popular front wind shield. Now there is a privacy shade for that. And I'll show you here when we open up all this storage that there is a TV up there on a televator. Now you can see that this does have a curved vaulted cathedral style roof. Um, that's not a camera trick. That's actually what it looks like in here. In the top of the frame, you can see that you've got your first of two 15,000 BTU Coleman Q series air conditioners, which is a lot quieter than say a Dometic or a Furion. Down below where the TV is located, you've got your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system, 5,200 BTU electric space heating fireplace, and tons of countertop space which is always a good thing. It never fails. You never have enough flat places to set things in these RVs. You can see you've got the accent lights above that front windshield and then above the two slide outs there. Another thing that I always like to point out is you've got household and USB outlets right there. And then you're going to have another outlet here as well as the switches for those accent lights. Now, as we come over here, you're going to have two matching sofas. Those will come out into, and make beds, so they're trifold sleeper sofas. And you also have got a neat little floating ottoman. And I'll show you what the storage looks like in that in just a minute. You can see you've got no carpet throughout this whole trailer. Well, where you're going to be walking. You know, you have a little bit of carpet up here on this little portion in front of the fireplace, but you're not going to be stepping there. Right over here, you're going to have a couple of theater seats. Now, these don't have the heat and massage and everything like a lot of other trailers do, but they do have some neat lighting effects in the cup holders and underneath if you turn those on. Great window coverage up here as well. You've got windows to see out your campsite, the front, you know, on the hookup side of your trailer. Then you'll have another trifold sleeper self up here as well. All of your windows are nicely framed out with valances and lambrequins, and you can see that you've got the pull-down blackout shades there as well. You'll also notice you have no heat vents in the floor, which again is really nice. Now, if I'm being ultra, ultra, ultra picky, um, one thing I noticed going up here is that is a little close to slide out. It just barely clears, but just keep that in mind. And I kind of wish there was a window here. You know, they could make it a smaller window, but it would just be nice to have 
cross breeze. Now every window in here does open for airflow except for that front wind shield. So you've got tons of cross breeze capability in here as well. But real quick, before we jump down to the kitchen area, let's go ahead and pop open all this storage. Is this, for, for a front living, this has got some decent storage capacity. So starting off, you can see that you've got just a huge jumbotron of a TV. So that's gonna be a 50 inch TV. You've got little storage space on each side of the TV there. And then you're gonna have a little bit deeper storage on, the, on both sides of the fireplace. Now, one thing that's really neat is all of these cabinets in here are pocket screwed cabinetry, and they all have the slow close hidden hinges, which is really nice. Um, it's more of a high end cabinet than what some other brands are using. So I really do enjoy that. Now in this ottoman here, you can see that you have really good storage. This is perfect for like some kids toys if you have the grandkids coming or board games or really whatever you wanna use it for. So again, that is really nice to see. I wish they would do this in all the Salem hemispheres, not just the Elite series. But let me know, would you like to start seeing this in the regular Salem hemisphere fifth wheel? Um, I'd be curious to see what people think about that. So, all right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the living area. Let's go ahead now and we'll jump down and take a look at this just gorgeous kitchen area. And I tell you, this has one of the best kitchens I have ever seen in a fifth wheel. So starting off on the middle portion or the kitchen portion, right inside the entry door, you're gonna have all your control panels. So you've got your slide outs, your awning, or two of your slide outs, excuse me, um, your water pump, water heater, your 12 volt tank heater switch and some lighting controls as well as your tank monitoring panel. Now, as we come in here, we'll see some more controls. You've got a max air uh, vent fan control. Notice this, it's mounted here where you can raise and lower it as well as turn it on and off. Your ceiling fan switch and your main AC thermostat. This is gonna have all cabinet ducted heating. You've got your propane leak detector down there, nice herringbone floor. Now, as we start over here, you have a 21 cubic foot residential refrigerator. Now, normally we're not huge fans of these, but this is the bigger of the two options. And considering this has a solar package, this will really help, um, you know, for boondocking and stuff, um, which is the big reason why we don't really prefer the residential, we kind of prefer the 12 volt refrigerators, but very, very nice sized capacity there. As we come over here, you're gonna have your um, th or three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers. You've got the upgraded Furion oven. So larger oven there that does have a light in there and the knobs will light up if you turn it on as you can see right there. You've got a three burner cooktop. Good space over here next to it. You're gonna have USB ports and 110 volt outlets there. Little bit of storage right next to the 30 inch convection microwave oven, which is awesome. Um, I really like that they do that. Again, slow close cabinetry. Above your refrigerator, you are going to have a wine rack. And real quick, I'll kind of pause right here so you can see what all options this has. And this one has an MSRP of just over $104,000. Now that's not what we're selling it for, but because our pricing changes so often and these videos live forever, I can't tell you what our sale, what our sale price is right now. Um, but if you're interested, I'll leave links down in the description where you can check that at any time. Now over here, you're going to have a nice sized pantry space. So great storage there. Plenty of room down there for a waste basket. The shelves don't come all the way forward. So you could uh, 
put a broom or something in there, but I'll show you, you don't need that space for the waste basket. Now over here, you're gonna have your two front slide out controls, all solid surface countertops. I really love this big window here too. If we look up top, you've got great storage space up there. So plenty of overhead cabinetry space. Now you may need a two-stepper to get up to it uh, if you're a little gravity challenge, shall we, shall we say, but it, it still is great storage space. Again, all solid surface countertops. I love just how much countertop space you have too. One basin farm style sink. You've got the pull down sprayer faucet. If we look down here, you've got three full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer guided drawers there. Plenty of room for a waste basket down here. I mean, you could put a double waste basket in there if you really wanted to. And then underneath this peninsula, you can see that this goes way back there. You can get to uh, more of that storage from that side. Um, but since we've got the bar stools set up currently, I can't really show you that very easily. You're also going to have another electrical outlet right here, as well as one over there in the corner. And I'm gonna say there's one more, but I can't remember exactly where it is. Now, speaking of the bar stools, this is your dinette area. So since this is designed as a couple's trailer, you have a couple's dining arrangement. Now these are fully, you know, they swivel and everything, um, which is really neat. Let me know, what do you think about this style of eating arrangement? Do you like it? Or would you rather have a table and chairs? Um, now, I was showing this to my parents because they're looking for something like this the other day. And what they kind of said, and this is a great idea, is with the storage on the outside of this thing, you could always have a folding table and chairs where if you have more than just two people, you could put it up there there's enough room up there to do that you know if you had guests coming over so just a thought now before we get up to the bedroom and bathroom I do want to show you what's behind door number two and yes that was a pun intended since it is a bathroom you got a porcelain foot flush lever toilet so this is your half bath you're gonna have some uh sh shelf organizer things right here now, if we step inside, you've got a medicine cabinet, all pressed membrane countertops and anywhere except for your kitchen, a GFI protected outlet, nice big stainless steel <coughs> sink. And then down here, you've got plenty of storage in there. There's plenty of room in this bathroom. Um, shout out to Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. I think he would have to give this one a prime pooping position. But again, shout out to Matt. Um, from Matt's RV Reviews. He does a great job. If you haven't seen his videos, go check him out. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for the kitchen area. Let's go ahead now and we'll jump up to the rear master ensuite. So stepping up into the bedroom, first thing you'll notice, this is a 72 by 80 inch king size bed so you can actually get king size sheets that will fit this now notice how they planned for a king bed they lengthen this bedroom and you have nightstands on both sides of the bed you're also going to have some cubbies back in there now what i don't see is oh there they are right there right in front of me You've got household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed. Now, if we take a look back in here, this is above the half bath, but you can see you have a huge chunk of space for duffel bags, Rubbermaid containers, whatever you want to put up there. And when you're traveling, of course, you've got this door locked into place. that can't really come out, so to speak. Big window over here. You've got cross breeze windows on both sides of the bed. Six or I'm sorry, uh, excuse me, five full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers. You are going to have a bedroom TV in this model as well. And let me get 
get these out of the way. And then right here, you're going to have a very nice chunk of hanging storage. Now this isn't everything. You've got more in the bathroom that I'll show you here in just a little bit. Mirrored medicine or mirrored wardrobes there. You're gonna have uh, a max air vent fan control again, another thermostat, and then lights for inside the bathroom. And you can kind of already see that a little bit. You've got about six five in head height here. Here's your second 15,000 BTU air conditioner. And you've got storage underneath the bed, plus you've got a portable ice maker that comes with this trailer as well. Now, let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the bathroom. Now this one is kind of tricky to film because it's an odd shaped bathroom. In here, you're gonna have your washer dryer prep for a stackable washer and dryer course all your connections there if not you can always use it as a hanging closet space shelf up top so great closet space there I don't really recommend the washer and dryers but if you did want to use one you always could right here is going to be part of your king digital wi-fi booster thingy whatever you want to call it you've got another hanging closet here or you could use it for toiletries and towels and stuff you're gonna have three full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer guided drawers, a huge shower with a seat there. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna ask why didn't they put the, the, the seat on that end? And I, I don't know this for sure, but I think they make these shower surrounds one way and that's where the seat goes, but they had to put the water connections on this side since it is on the interior of the trailer. Try sliding glass door. You've got a skylight up top. Dual circular mirrors with lights above them, GFI protected outlet, stainless steel sink, press membrane countertops, little storage there. And then you've got open cubby space here plus another porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of room around there. Window still does have the privacy shades and you've got a couple of robe hooks right there. It's kind of an odd place for that, I guess, since the toilet's there, but you could make it work. And then up here is where you're gonna have that. Uh, these, you'll have your, of course, your AC vents. Notice they're closable and turnable, which is really neat. And then right here is going to be where that max air vent fan is. Um, this is really cool. You can open this and close this from here. And then you've got, you know, all of your buttons and stuff on that uh, controller in the bedroom. So lastly, let's go ahead and close up all these slide outs and look at it in travel mode. So with the slide outs in, you are not able to get to your half bath because the slide outs in the way, obviously. You can, however, get to the full refrigerator and freezer. You can get to your bar area, all of your kitchen space. Now, unless you're really skinny, you can't really get up to the uh, living area. Now you can see that ottoman fits perfectly between those two slide outs, which is really nice, convenient storage spot for that. And then if we go back into the master bedroom, you can see, unless you want to climb over the bed, which I guess if you had to in a pinch, you can, you could get to the bathroom if you crawl over the bed. You can also use this, you know, if you need to take a nap on a longer trip, you could do that as well if you need to take a break, you know, for a few hours at night to sleep. So for a big fifth wheel, it does okay. I've seen better. I've seen way worse. But let's go ahead and jump onto the outside, take a look at all the features there. All right, guys, so we're back on the outside of the 2022 Salem Hemisphere Elite 36FL. Now, pardon any road noise, we are right next to Interstate 40. But up front here, you have the painted fiberglass front cap with the automotive grade windshield, standard pin box, that way you can upgrade it to whatever you want. Now underneath here, if we open this compartment up, 
You can see you've got your battery boxes and spare tire and spare tire carrier. So very convenient and easy place uh, for your spare tire. Plus it keeps it out of the weather. Over here, you're going to have your uh, main pass-through storage. You can see you've got your, thir uh, your 30 amp charge controller for your 100 watt solar panel up on the roof. You can also see your battery disconnect, 1000 watt inverter. And you can also see that you've got fully aluminum cage construction, two inch sidewalls, double-sided welded seams on all that stuff. And I'll show you where your auto leveling controls are as well. Plus you've got your cap light switch right there. So all slam latch baggage doors, except for one that kind of hinges open. Now this is a great place to show this. If we look underneath here, you can see that you've got the fully enclosed heated underbelly with tank heaters, and you've got the enclosed accessibility, which is four by eight sheets of ABS plastic. So the benefit there is if you ever have to do any service on this trailer and you take it into a service department, they only have to take one panel down to get to whatever you want. Now we'll come back to this outside kitchen here in a minute. You've got a big power awning, dual outside speakers, larger uh, grab handle that really comes down here. Now I do want to show, uh, demonstrate this. So friction hinge entry door. But the beauty of this is these are more ride step above steps, but as you can see, they are the zero gravity version. So fully adjustable feet, they have a hydraulic strut. You can push this down with one finger. You're going to have six point electric automatic leveling Power on the outside, you can see that there's one of your outside speakers. Big power awning with LED light strips in that. Now, as we come back in here, you can see you've got another massive storage compartment. It goes all the way across. And then we've got this. So this is the coolest outside kitchen I have ever seen. You've got a griddle top here, propane quick connect under there. Nice big bar, you've got the bottle opener. Big stainless steel sink. You can see you can fit adult hands in here. More, plenty of countertop space. You've got a refrigerator for the adult beverage of your choice. And then we've got a outside TV on a swing arm mount. You've got the appropriate connections out here. And then here's your other outside speaker. Now coming around the back, you do have a ladder that will be going away at some point this year. They have another idea. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. So once I get a trailer in that has it, I'll be able to show you. Square tubular bumper for your stinky slinky. And apparently I am hooked on the chain link fence. There we go. I'm hooked on it again. Okay, anyway, we'll keep rolling. You've got another massive storage compartment here. Again, all slam latch baggage doors, LED tail and marker lights. And if we look up top, you can see that you are prepped and ready for a Furion observation camera or backup camera of your choice. 10 gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition, 50 amp service, you got a more, uh, I, actually, I don't know if it's more right or not, but you have a very nice slide out tray right here. If we push this in and we look back in here, here is your, um, all of your connections. So city water, fresh water, black tank flush, all that good stuff is right here, including your winterization point, which is really neat. Now, if we drop down here, you can see back there is your uh, one of your tank dumps. So right there. And then your other one is going to be up here. And now it is under a slide out. It's kind of awkward to get to, but um, 
what I would recommend is dumping these with the slide out closed. You can see you've got the great looking aluminum wheels. And then this is gonna be the other side of your storage compartment. Your automatic leveling controls are right up in there. And then lastly, this is gonna be where your two 30 pound propane tanks are located. So, all right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the 2022 Salem Hemisphere Elite Series Model 36 FL. If you're interested in this gorgeous fifth wheel and you have any questions, or if you'd like pricing and availability, I will leave a link in the video description down below. I'll also post our contact information down there. So if you have any questions, you can give us a call or an email there. Uh, I'll also leave my personal cell phone number where you can text me or call me with any questions uh, as well. So remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave those up to the big box dealers and we know that RVs are made for women so men can go camping. With that being said, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. If you could do me a favor before you leave, hit that like button down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below as well as that notification bell. That way it st you stay up to date with all of our latest content. And I tell you, we've got some really cool trailers coming uh, at some point this year, whenever they decide to ship them out to us. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Again, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed and we'll talk to you again very soon.